I can hardly believe it, but yes, I have another huge update for the RTX 50 series. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so this might just be the biggest update we've had for the RTX 50 series thus far, as yes, there's some information pointing towards a major, major thing happening this month. Let's go ahead and take a look where this originated from over on Bench Life, where they had this to say about the RTX 5090 and 5080. And this is in regards to the recent leak from the Twitter leaker Cop87 Kimi, where he was saying that potentially the 5080 could be drawing 400 watts and the 5090 600 watts. Quote, the news is indeed a bit confusing because we're told by the model factory that there was indeed a 400 watt NVIDIA cooling module case earlier, but it is currently in the cancellation or suspension stage. As for the 600 watt cooling module case, from the beginning to now, it has not stopped. And the module manufacturer has also confirmed that NVIDIA currently has five GeForce RTX graphics card cases in production. Perhaps 400 watts and 600 watts are the maximum heat dissipation capabilities of the radiator. In fact, the TGP of GeForce RTX 5090 and GeForce RTX 5080 are 550 watts and 350 watts respectively. If there are no surprises, the Blackwell GPU architecture GeForce RTX 5090 slash D and GeForce RTX 5080 slash D are scheduled to be officially launched in September. So very, very exciting. But before we start freaking out as yes it sounds like an imminent launch could be happening well there could maybe be some translation errors as i have been seeing some people suggest that it's not the actual launch but the finalization of production or something like that that's going to be occurring by the end of this month and then likely they will be going on sale hopefully not too long afterwards but we'll talk about the potential release dates in just a second as video cards did add over on their website quote it's also interesting to note that nvidia is expected to finalize the design of the rtx 5090 along with a sub variant for the chinese market the rtx 5090d by the end of this month once this happens we can likely expect a new wave of leaks which will appear to have a higher degree of confidence so there you go that's why i believe it was less likely a mistranslation and yes the design will be finalized not it being out for sale but even with that being the case this is huge news because a ton of information was dropped that changes everything from the actual specs of the card all the way to the release date and in fact if we take a look here at the updated specs we can see here everything is about the same we're talking about 30 to 50% more cores on the top models when compared to the 4090 and all the clock speeds, memory, everything like that should be the same. However, it's sounding like 550 watts for the 5090 up from 450 on the 4090 and 350 watts on the 5080 up from 320 on the 4080. And that might sound like a pretty huge increase, but it kind of makes sense because I do believe they're actually moving from TSMC five nanometer to four nanometer. And if that's the case, well, there's gonna be a very small improvement to the power efficiency as well as the density, which means that if they are gonna build a way larger and faster GPU, well, most of that's gonna have to come down to the actual design itself, which means, yes, it's very likely power will have to go way up. So 550 watts for the 5090 could very well be true, although I wouldn't be surprised if it was maybe 500 watts and the final design was maybe 
brought a little bit back in terms of the clock speeds. But even if that is the case, that's a pretty major development. And in terms of the actual release date, here's where I think things have changed. Originally, I was thinking quarter one of 2025 for the 5090 and 5080, and maybe we'd see a Titan AI by the end of this year. I actually don't think that's going to be the case anymore because we're getting a lot of information about the 5090 and 5080. No more about the Titan with that being the case. I do believe you will see a quarter four of this year release for both the RTX 5090 and 5080. So definitely very exciting stuff. I am expecting more aggressive pricing on the 5080 and probably a similar price on the RTX 5090 when compared to their predecessors. So coming out pretty soon, I think a lot of people will like the pricing of the 5080, but only time will tell. But either way you slice it, really exciting news about the 59, 5080, and I cannot wait to start testing them when they come out, hopefully, by the end of this year. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the 5090 and 5080 will come out by the end of this year, or do you think they'll be delayed until 2025? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.